This is part three and the final part in my series on back flushing these early Mercedes gasoline fuel injectors. And I've completed all my experimentation and I've pretty much come up with what I think is a good kit for the DIY mechanic to do this in their own shop. Now remember, this is only concerning back flushing. It's not going to cover anything about testing because if you're going to back flush, <laughs> you know, you need to test them afterwards to see whether you're back flushing cleaning had any effect at all on the spray patterns and the performance of a given fuel injector. Now to test them, with my system you're going to need this bench mount pressure tester. We have testers and gauges that work both for the CIS fuel injectors and also for the MFI fuel injectors. We covered both of these fuel injectors in part one and part two. What I decided to do was not combine this back flush kit with any of my other kits. Because I know some of you will already have this bench mount tester. And some of you will already have my fume capture bottle that I supply as an add-on to the pressure tester to keep the fumes uh, away from you, keep you from breathing that fine mist when you're actually testing and pump cleaning those fuel injectors. And when I found out that the MFI fuel injector wouldn't really fit all the way down into my fume capture bottle, then I decided not to combine that into this back flush kit. So what you see right here is pretty much the essence of what I call the Mercedes early gasoline fuel injector back flush cleaning kit. Okay, that's what I'm going to call it on my website. There's not a lot of elaborate things in the kit. There's a, many of these things you could probably make yourself, but there's a couple things that are going to be kind of difficult to make unless you have the you know, tools and equipment to, to engineer stuff. What I'm going to do is put this up on my website, and I'll put a link in this video, and it'll just be the back flush kit. This will come with a video included with the kit, which will show you how to set this up, how to set up the injectors to do the complete uh, back flush procedure. Now I've also, you know, run through the gamut of a number of cleaners and the cleaners of choice so far have been lacquer thinner, diesel purge, and fuel injector cleaner. Now you may want to do some of your own experimenting to find out which cleaner works the best. I've had some reports from some of my customers already who've done some preliminary back flushing of their fuel injectors of some great success. They said, wow, I couldn't believe it. So in this instructional video that comes with the kit, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can, you know, go through this whole back flush procedure to make sure you really get those little teeny screens inside the fuel injectors cleaned out. So that's going to be the case with this kit. Um, I think you'll find it very beneficial if you have one of these older gas engine fuel injector Mercedes and you're having a hard time getting your engine to run without excessively rich mixture, you're not being successful at getting the injectors to spray properly when using the bench mount uh, tester. Now once again, I'm going to, this is kind of the disclaimer as I end this video, I can't guarantee that every single fuel injector is going to be rescued by going through this back flush procedure. Some of these, the tips wear out and there's not anything you can do about it. But considering the cost of what these new injectors are, it's certainly worth a try. So for more information on this and my other fuel injector testing and cleaning equipment, be sure and check out the links in the video description below.